Welcome to part 5 of building a Pokemon card in React Native. In part 4, we focused on styling the first two blocks within our card component. In this video, let's shift our attention to the remaining three blocks. Once again, we will pick up where we left off. For step 16, we'll apply styles to the third block, which displays the Pokemon type. We're going to get a bit fancy with this block. We will render the type in a badge along with an emoji representing the Pokemon type. Just before the Pokemon card component, I'll include a function that returns badge styles based on the Pokemon type. This function, get type details, returns a border color and an emoji based on the Pokemon type. Since this isn't React Native specific, I've copied and pasted the code to save us some time. The function code is available on my GitHub repository. Now that we have the function, within the component, we invoke the function as follows. const border color comma emoji destructured from get type details. To this, we pass in type as the argument. Now let's apply styles to the type block. We will start by wrapping the text element with another view component. This new view represents the badge. Inside the badge, just before the type, we display the corresponding emoji. Duplicate the line and bind emoji, which we have destructured from getTypeDetails function. Next, specify the style prop for each element. So for the outer container, style is equal to styles.typeContainer. For the inner view component, style is equal to an array where we apply styles.badge, which we are yet to define. And we also set border color to the border color destructured from get type details. Next, on the emoji text, style is equal to styles.type emoji. And then style is equal to styles.type text. Let's now define the key value pairs for each of these styles. First, we have the type container. We're just going to set margin bottom to 40 for spacing with the next block in the UI. Within the container, we have our badge. This is the inner view component. We're going to set flex direction to row to horizontally place the emoji and the text, align items to center, some vertical padding within the badge, twice the padding in the horizontal direction, a border radius of 20, and border width of 4. For the type emoji, we're going to set font size 30, and margin right 12. This is spacing for the emoji and the text. For the text itself, we will set font size of 22 and font weight bold. And I've just noticed on type container, I've left out align items center. This will align the badge horizontally. When we save the file and take a look at the UI, you can see the badge looks great. It has an orange border and a fire emoji since Charmander is a fire type Pokemon. Perfect. Now on to step 17. We need to display the list of moves. In the JSX, on the view component, add the style prop and set it to styles.moves container. On the text, style prop styles.moves text. 
Let's define the key value pairs. Moves container, where we set margin bottom, 16, and moves text, font size, 22, and font weight, bold. If we save the file and take a look at the UI, you can see the most text is much easier to read. For step 18, let's move on to the final block, the weakness block. This block is quite similar to the moves block. So I'll go through this quickly. First, add the style prop. Styles.weakness container and style is equal to styles.weakness text. Let's define the styles. Weakness container, I'm going to set margin bottom to 8 and weakness text, font size 22, font weight bold. If we take a look at the UI, you can see the weakness text is also much easier to read. With this, we have completed styling our Pokemon card component. In the sixth and final part, let's add multiple Pokemon cards to our view.